everyone wants a Lomi. And you know it must be truly amazing because on their own website, there isn't a single negative review. I mean, just look at that, almost 3,000 reviews and not one single negative review. And they keep asking me, can I get a discount? And my answer is no. No way. But here's what I can do. A lifetime supply of dirt. Uh-huh. I'm sensing just a, a little bit of false urgency here. People keep ordering Lomis almost faster than we can make them. Really? You mean almost as fast as they're appearing secondhand on eBay? Not a good look for a product that's been out less than a year. So no, I can't offer you a discount and no, Lomi won't go on sale soon. Uh-huh. And that video was put out in March and by July, it was on sale. Why no discounts? Because it turns out the world's first compost accelerator costs a lot to develop. Really? Let's take a look at that uh, world's first home composter, which of course isn't the world's first. It's like one in a long list of failed home composters. And of course, none of which are really home composters. They just sort of grind up and desiccate your vegetable waste. But let's take a look specifically at Lomi here. Well, it's got a strong stirring mechanism there. That looks kind of familiar. I've seen those sort of stirry things before. And it's got a heating element that goes around the outside in a sort of big insulated metal box. I've seen this somewhere before. Somewhere old. Something very cheap. And then it suddenly dawned on me. It's a bread maker! It's a goddamn bread maker! A barely modified bread maker! Why no discounts? Because it turns out the world's first compost accelerator costs a lot to develop. There's a Reddit comment that totally reflected uh, how I felt. It stated, what I always wanted, a $500 device that cooks my trash before I throw it away. And I'm really kicking myself why I didn't see it earlier. So the obvious thought occurs, what would happen if I got the cheapest bread maker off of Amazon? No modifications, no nothing, and just put my uh, compost in it, what would that look like after it run the cooking cycle, which is only like three hours or something? Not the 12 or so hours it takes to run Lumi. This time we tried the Lumi approved mode. The cycle is about seven hours. Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? What's the point when you just say, I recognize all of those components. You've got a mixing bucket and a heating element all the way around here and a mixer that even looks almost exactly like the one in Lomi. So comes the thought, what if I were to just put my vegetable scraps into a $50 bread maker? What would that look like? Well, only one way to find out. In you go, in you go. Lots of scraps. Super. And let's see what that looks like after um, it's actually been through the bread making cycle. For which, hopefully, I can see a lot. Oh, but there we go. Now we can. Okay, so let's uh, just hit start and see what happens. And uh, yeah, let's get a time-lapse camera on that, see what it looks like. So the progress bar that you've got there is gonna run for about three hours. And you see almost immediately it grinds everything up, no problem. And you can see immediately it's starting to slightly warm up and that's water condensing on the top there, right? So this is inevitable, right? Whenever Lumi says that it makes all this dirt, you've gotta get the water off and that's the water evaporating off there. And now it's started the bake cycle by the looks of things, which is really evaporating off the water. And so, yeah, Lumi must put this much energy in just to get the water off. So the only thing that's really different between this and Lumi is they've got a slightly modified bucket and some filters to stop it stinking, but they must put all of that water out into your room. While the machine was running, it started to get very steamy in the room. The second day, when we opened the... Let's see what just putting uh, your vegetable scraps in a bread maker looks like. And wow, it's reduced an awful lot, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you run that through again. 
And oh, it's still hot. And what a stress. This is putting your vegetable scraps in the cheapest unmodified bread maker and not running it for like 12 hours like with Lumi, but just for three on a regular bread making cycle. I almost couldn't believe what I saw. The size decreased so much. And when you watch the full cycle, it's bloody obvious that the majority of what it's doing is just boiling the water off your vegetable scraps. And I should stress that, yeah, Pala threatened to sue me for claiming that the main thing that Lomi did was just boil the water of your vegetable scraps. Which this video shows is, yeah, it must do it. There's no way around it. And they threatened to sue me for that. And yeah, Lomi, it's only a matter of time before I get my hands on one of these devices, chop a hole in the top of it, and see how it actually compares on the inside to this awesome demonstration of a working bread maker um, composting vegetable scraps. Whoa. You are so busted. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. And even then, each loamy is really expensive to make and takes a couple weeks to ship. Uh, nah, I'm pretty sure it's the same cost as making a bread maker. Maybe with an extra fan. But let's just push extra doubt that those are actually real scientists who work for Lomi. And if you're smashing the extra doubt button, there's going to be a lot of that in the next few minutes. Remember our 3,000 positive reviews and not one single negative rating. Who you bet? Check out this hand. All aces. <laughs> A plus. When every single review just gushes praise on how fantastic it is. Oh, Bart, why didn't you at least forge plausible grades? Hey, oh. plus. You don't think much of me, do you, boy? No, sir. You know, a D turns into a B so easily. You just get greedy. Thanks quite a jarring contrast to when you take a look at their Indiegogo page, where they can't control the comments. I'm reading that Lumi has many technical problems. Could you ensure us that the product we receive on September will have all of those problems fixed? Please? Where is my product? Blah, blah, blah. I loved my limit for the first four months, then it stopped working. The grinder appears to be stuck. But here's what I can do. A lifetime supply of dirt. Don't get this product. My Lomi worked for a total of three months. Blah, blah, blah. Don't buy. But I can offer you a lifetime supply of dirt. Yeah, as long as a lifetime supply is like a... Three months. My Lomi stopped working. The grinder is no longer moving. Seems like it's sealed to the bottom of the bucket. Broken, it's broken, it's broken. It's not delivered. I received my Lomi a few months ago, but now it isn't working. It acts like it is, but no longer here. The loud noises makes when it's composting. <laughs> a plus. And then up before then, it's just loads of stuff about, you know, people not getting their stuff. I'm having a cooling light issue. The cooling light is flashing. Lomi is unstable. Purchased Lomi. Worked well for three to five hours in compost. Now it produces after 16 hours is a sticky mess, which takes forever to clean up. And it's not really suitable for augmenting soil for gardening. Yeah, that's right, folks. Lomi after 16 hours was outclassed by an unmodified bread maker after three. Yeah. Well, that's um, seven million dollars well spent. Oh, Bart, why didn't you at least forge plausible grades? <laughs> okay, so let's try and write a review on the Pella website where Lomi doesn't have a single negative review out of 2,000 people. Not a single negative review. So let's just see what happens here. Let's try and write a review which is going to be for one star, I think. Uh, this one um, from Deborah. And let's submit that one there and continue. Continue with that. We're going to skip that and submit that and see. According to that, I should now get an email. Ah, there we go. And we'll click confirm. Thanks for confirming your review. And let's see if our review has actually turned up. I'm curious now. 
and our review hasn't shown up. I'm stunned. Stunned, I tell you. But if you go to Amazon, you'll find that they do actually sell it on Amazon. It looks like it's got a pretty... Oh, hang on. <laughs> All of a sudden, some negative reviews have appeared. Um, and we just take a look at the images and it says... What does it say? Huge disappointment. Where it looks like it's just been put in a bread maker for a few hours. Or if we go to the next one, it says, Holy Alchemy Batman, where it looks like ground up vegetable parts but anyway the interesting bit is if we scroll down a bit to the first review which says i'm surprised amazon is still selling this take a look at the reviews on reviewopedia as consistent with our experience it works great but then it appears to reach the end of its lifespan customer service consists of a request of a video and a list of what we had in the machine big disappointment so let's take a look at that reviewopedia shall we and here we are on Reviewpedia, where it's not got quite the same rating for some reason. Let's see if these reviews look credible, shall we? Stopped working after three months. Don't buy. I got auto-shipped $140 of products, which I did not order. I said cancel it. I can order it as I need it. They said my three-year warranty is now cancelled. What a scam. The company sure does protect itself. In order for me to return the machine, I would lose my deposit. Then I was told that because I took the plastic off, I would not get a full refund, as it had to be completely as it was when it was shipped. Then came the subscription. I'm beyond disappointed, and this company needs to refund all of our money. Customer service. What's that? Worked great for about a week. Lomi is the solution to your garbage crisis. After that, it won't turn on. A light flashing says heating issue. I know, bold claim, but there's a reason all these folks can't stop talking about Lomi. Broke after four uses, no service help. Literally thousands of reviews from Lomi users like you speak for themselves. Overpriced easy bake oven with poor customer service. What I'm suggesting is that this place is the, the crummiest, shoddiest, worst run hotel in the whole of Western Europe. We used it for perhaps two times a week until mid-May, then it stopped working. No, no, I won't have that. <laughs> There's a place in Eastbourne. <laughs> it never did compost the full range of items they advertised. It works fine on regular compostable items. It's noisy, finished material, finished product can be smelly, but not obnoxiously so. Email them when it stopped working. It took six days for them to respond. They wanted to know what address to ship things to, but they didn't have any problem with shipping me the auto subscription at $50. Yeah, this is going to be a common theme of shipping out stuff that you don't want for $50. You see, satisfied customers. It's a rip-off. I ordered my Lomi and used it seven times. It does not work as advertised. But you must remember, <laughs> the cure in Britain, there are things that we value more. The compost to be used in the garden comes out like a cow patty. All right, we are back. It took 15 and a half hours. I'm so excited to see what comes out of this. Let's look at our compost. Oh, this is not what I expected. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The compost to be used in the garden comes out like a cow patty. No customer service. I'm not satisfied. But, 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 what? I'm not satisfied. No, we're not satisfied. Well, people like you never are, are what? you? After you buy the product, they automatically enroll you in a service you do not want. I think this is probably the worst hotel we've ever stayed in. I hate this company. I've been trying since June 24, 2020 to cancel their subscription service for quarterly receipts of charcoal to use in their machine. Yes, it is. The service here is an absolute disgrace. They've made it as hard as possible. I cannot find cancel subscription button, although I've scrolled to the bottom of my account, blah, blah, blah. First of all, I never enrolled in their subscription service for charcoal. They automatically put me in it. Secondly, their website makes it appear that you must request this service. They do not clearly indicate that enrollment is automatic. What a scam. They are scammers. Do you know that we had to wait nearly half an hour for our main course? And when it arrived, it was wrong. And when I complained, he completely fobbed me off with some rubbish. This product is an absolute scam. They've made the returns process as hard as absolutely possible. I've been fighting with them for weeks now. I can't believe I was stupid enough to fall for this. Works great until it doesn't. I was so excited to get my Lomi. It worked great for about six weeks. 
Now it no longer grinds the food. It shuts off after a few hours, no matter what cycle is chosen. There's no way to contact the company except through email, which has been ignored. And I asked you to fix my radiator three times and nothing's been done. Now it's just a $500 addition to the landfill. Very disappointed, one star is too many for this product. Stairway does not work as claimed. I've used my Lumi three times the first time it went through the soil cycle successfully. Since then, I've taken to cutting up the scraps into smaller than one inch pieces and it gets stuck repeatedly. Lomi makes your life so much easier. I emailed customer support and they told me, yes, scraps should be smaller when placed into the Lomi. Yesterday, I cut up the lettuce and carrot peel into quarter inch pieces, practically shredded, and it stopped processing after 15 to 20 seconds. And don't get me started about the tablet and charcoal subscription that you're stuck with for two years. Run away from this product. Satisfied customers, huh? <laughs> Hot dog. Not that we should be terribly surprised, of course. Pella's the company that uh, made uh, eco-friendly phone cases. Not eco-friendly at all. Then completely faked their composting. This is what they claimed it would do in a few months. Meanwhile, in reality, when people actually did this, they found that almost nothing happened to their phone cases when left at compost for a few months. Maybe not surprising, as somewhat over 50% of Pella cases are probably made from regular fossil fuel plastics. And I want to be clear, the company that faked this sort of decomposition is the same one that threatened to sue me for, uh, what did they say? Making false claims about Lomi. Like, what it did was essentially boil off the water. It started to get very steamy in the room. Something that it must do. It doesn't matter whether you put the energy in slowly or quickly, the amount of energy to evaporate the water is exactly the same. But the one that really pushed my buttons is when I got an email from a very irate and very nice lady who ran a channel with 20,000 subscribers. And she'd made a video mildly critical of Lomi, and within about half an hour, someone claiming to be the co-founder of Pella was threatening her with legal action. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That is such royal jerk behavior. I mean, she wouldn't like me. She, she was really worried that she was going to get sued over this. As a very small part-time YouTuber, it honestly freaks me out. I don't have money or lawyers. As I'm sure you know, I make very little off YouTube. And I do it because I love permaculture. And apparently this is who the co-founder of Pella was threatening. And I looked at her video and it was one of the most vanilla criticisms you could imagine. So I told her, you know, she had nothing to worry about. And yeah, I would fight her corner for this if it went sideways. But I mean, just the fact that they would be doing stuff like that, that's just messed up, man. So this bonus busting, this one's for you, Angie. I'm Skylar, the content creator here at Pila. And I'm Cassia, the science content marketing specialist at Pila. Welcome to the best that Pila has to offer. Not a scientist, a science content marketing specialist who is maybe into their 20s? Kinda seems to be a running thing with Pella. Hey guys, it's Penelope from Pila Labs, and boy am I excited to show you this. Wow, another cute brunette on speed. Who could have seen that coming? Just look at the size of the glasses and the lab coat. She's got to be a scientist, right? I mean, everyone knows that if you just want to do a drop test on a phone, you definitely need a lab coat. Oh, who was the other scientist? The girl who just randomly wears a lab coat in the office for no apparent reason? Today we're going to be testing a bunch of things in Lomi to answer the question, will it Lomi? If you own a Lomi, do not put any of this in a Lomi because it will probably break your Lomi. Yeah, like um, regular kitchen waste, if you believe the reviews. Plastic phone cases, Pila compostable cases. You mean Pila plastic cases. Pila phone cases are made out of flax fiber. No, they contain some flax fiber, with the rest being some curiously undescribed plastic. About 45% of this case is made from renewable resources, which is cool, but the other 55% is not. So basically half this case is some form of plastic, while the other half isn't. 
and we know plastic doesn't go away. Kila phone cases are made out of flax fiber, which means that they are compostable. Curious, I seem to recall the guy who uh, came up with the idea of putting flax fiber into this regular plastic said that the reason they used flax fiber is because it was intractable stuff that wouldn't compost and the farmers frequently had to end up burning it because it clogged up the machinery. What's left is the actual straw and uh, the fiber in the straw is actually so strong that the uh, farmers often burn it because it gets caught up in the equipment. So we want to find another use for that straw. Let's low me. <laughs> Let's low me. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's the phone cases. Oh my gosh, it's the phone cases. Okay, wow. it did what I expected it to do. Fascinating for me too. You've just shown that Lomi cannot work as described. It's, it's still in its form. We got, yeah, the plastic cases are in their form. Like pretty much, like look exactly Exactly, the same. and then Pila cases have broken down. What, are these the Pila cases that composted like almost nothing from being six months in the ground. Are, are these the pellet cases we're talking about? This makes sense to me because pillowcases cases are made out of plant material and they're designed to compost. Lomi just speeds up the composting process. And really? Is that your professional opinion as a science content marketing specialist? Meanwhile, in reality, Composting is a biological process. There are remarkably few biological processes that occur at the temperature at which plastic phone cases have melted. You know that the plastics have melted because you can see them in front of you. So um, how did these cases compost again? And so the plant matter that pila cases are made out of are, is going to break down, whereas this is like, made of regular plastic, which is literally just fossil fuel. So basically half this case is some form of plastic, while the other half isn't. It's like plastic is just oil and gas that's refined in a certain way, which is not gonna compost at all. Um, so yeah, it just kind of melted. Yeah, ladies, far be it from me to call you a bunch of lying scammers, but I'm pretty sure that composting doesn't happen at the temperature that plastics melt at. Whoa. Are so busted. TikTok Pella, it's only a matter of time before I get my hands on some Pella cases and work out exactly what plastic they're made from and allow me and show that it does exactly what I said it did. And for those who want to know if the bread maker worked okay afterwards, well, maybe you should check out my second channel, The Voice of Thunder, where I'll shortly have a video of whether it actually makes decent bread after being used as a composter. Spoilers. Oh, oh this stuff is gorgeous when it's fresh. And whatever, I'll put some affiliate links below. And sure, if you made it this far, you probably enjoyed it enough to drop a thumbs up on it. It's probably also worth subscribing. And if you really enjoyed the work of this channel, you can support it directly through Patreon. And uh, thanks for watching.